Okay, so subtraction of cells in Excel. So what we have over here is basically the same spreadsheet from the previous video, but now we're going to be doing subtraction. So how do we subtract two cells in Excel? So over here, what we have are two numbers, okay, in different columns, and we're subtracting these two numbers. So what we have, it basically says your subtraction use the takeaway numbers from each other. So if you click on the 40, you can see that the formula they've written over here in the formula bar is basically what they've written underneath it, just to show you what they've done. So in order to subtract 10 from 50, or in other words to say 50 minus 10, all you have to do is once again, when you select any cell, you'll type in an equal sign, and then you're going to select the cells that you want to do the subtraction uh, process with. So for example, let's say H11, so H11 is 50, and H12 is 10. So they say here equals H11, which is 50, minus H12, which is 10, and we know 50 minus 10 will give you 40. Over here they've done it in reverse, they subtract 50 from 10, or in other words saying 10 minus 50, and to do that all they've shown over here is that you take K11, which is 10, minus K12, which is 50, and if you hit enter, you'll get negative 40. So that is just the basic process that you go through in order to subtract numbers. So we're going to have a look at an exercise over here. Subtract the top number from the bottom number. So we have two numbers in separate columns. So we're going to start with those in column C. I'm going to put my cursor in the answer cell. So remember you can put your cell in any cell if you want to put your answer there, but it's up to you. So subtract the top number from the bottom number. Okay, so in other words, we want to say 456 minus 156. So, to do that, we're going to show equal, or hit and equals um, on your keyboard to show, or tell Excel we're going to do a calculation. And we want to take 456, so I select that cell, C5, and I want to minus 156 from it, so C4. So C5 minus C4 is 456 minus 156, and if we enter, we're going to get 300. And we're just going to do the same over here. So to show it in your calculations, equals, and we're going to say 195 minus 253. And that is it. So very similar to multiplication, except you're using a minus instead of an asterisk.